Don't hurt yourself. Yeah. Okay. So um, the, the thing I think is really interesting in teaching introductory computer science is students who are at the state where they say, I know what I want to do, but I can't write code to it, code mm -hmm. to do it. Um, and I think trying to bridge that gap is like a fun challenge. So I think, um, so one of the strategies I've used is here I've got Dixie Cups um, for teaching about arrays. And I think a lot of people do that. You know, some um, when we've been talking to people, they've said that they use Dixie Cups, excuse me, or egg cartons, because you can do a two by two egg carton, um, to represent arrays, to capture the idea that you can hold things inside of it. But I like to use it for the, say I have, say I have an array, and here I have six elements, and I want to find the maximum value. <clears throat> if we have students just look at an array that has six elements in it, they just can see what the array, the, the max value is, and they don't even have to think about it. So what I do is I take Dixie Cups, um, and I make class sets so that students can do this in lab. I take Dixie Cups and write numbers on the bottom. Mm -hmm. And it's important that they're on the bottom, because here, from, okay, from your vantage point, whatever, you can't see where there are numbers. But from mine, I can see into the cup, but I can't see any of the numbers. So if I'm going to go through and figure out what the maximum number is, I have to actually flip up the cups and make the array references explicit. Mm -hmm. uh, and so an another thing I, and then once you have these cups in lab, you're like, well, what else can I use the cups for? <laughs> um, and, <laughs> and something that I found startling is that students find heap operations. Maybe I'm bad at explaining them, but when I explain heap operations, they're like, oh my goodness, this is the most confusing thing that's ever happened. But when I just had them use the cups and draw out, either in tape on the floor or on poster, poster board, um, a maximally balanced binary tree, and have them manipulate the cups, you know, oh, well, I'm swapping these, two, let me pick these two up and swap them. They're like, oh, this is like the easiest thing ever. And so I think with, um, you know, in, in elementary school classrooms and stuff, there's a lot of these, like, manipulatives of, like, yeah. the little blocks and things. And... I, I think it, one, seems to be the magic. I haven't figured out a better way to explain heaps than just to have people touch the cups once, and then it seems fine. And in particular, the manipulatives to bridge the gap between I know how to do it, I know how to do it, but I can't write code for it. Um, mm -hmm. I think this can be a really helpful intermediate step. 